You ain't heard of shit like that. Working all night, you know shit like that. Cutting people off, you know shit like that. Today I'm gonna show how to get the new Raw uh, 2022 Arena from Ravonico. Um, this is a mod that replaces the default Raw 2021 Arena. Now go to the first link in the description and uh, install WinRaw to find out if you have the 32-bit or 64-bit. You open Windows Explorer, right-click on this PC, and then Properties, and then you can see at System Type 64-bit, or uh, it could say 32-bit, depending on your system. You just have to install the one that works with your system. And then go to the second link in the description. This is the new cake tools that works with patch 1.14. So you click on the link, you download it to whatever folder you have. And when you've installed WinRAW, you should have uh, the icon look like this. You click extract to cake tools. And this folder you can put wherever you want, but I'm just going to keep it here. So now, if you open up the release folder, you can see caketools.exe. You right click, send to, and then desktop. Go to the third link in the description. This is for the cake tools fonts. Click on the download link. You extract it to cake tools UI fonts. Open it up. And here are all the fonts. So you highlight them. Right click and then install and it will install all the fonts. Go to the uh, fourth link in the description, uh, WW2K22 Patcher, you download it. Go to the folder where you have uh, downloaded it, you right click and extract to Patcher. If it says it's a potentially unwanted software, you can turn off your antivirus because it's not a dangerous file. If you don't trust it, then you don't have to download it, but there's nothing, uh, there's nothing dangerous about it. Open it up. Now open up Steam and right click on 2K22, Properties, Local Files and Browse. And then you right click on the patcher, copy and paste it in the directory and you open it up and when it's done it should say patch has been applied so you click OK and then you can delete the patcher and when it's done you can right click new folder and now you go to the mod you want to install Click download file, click download, download anyway, go to the folder where you downloaded it, right click and then extract to, so I actually already have some mods um, and I just need to transfer them to the baked 08 folder because we have to put the baked 09 and the baked 010 in the, in the separate cake files. So you highlight them, copy, and then paste. Open up cake tools, file, bake a folder, open up mods, open up the baked 09, select folder, type 9, OK directory baked successfully click file and then bake a folder underscore mods bake 10 select folder and then type 10 click ok and now if you have installed sound editor from my uh, previous tutorial for importing custom theme songs um you should have a uh, sound editor so you open it up, click on file, open, 
go to the 2k22 directory go to music underscore seven dot pack in the sound folder click open now you can sort by name by clicking uh, twice on the name tab right click on raw import go to the mod folder with the sound file click open when it's injected you can click file and exit so now we're going to test it out to see if the raw in arena is installed um, as you can see from the mod on the left it's a Brock Lesnar render mod that I made it's on PWM you can also see the entrance uh, the Titantron mod that also is made by me uh, you can all it's also available on my PWM profile but as you can see uh, the arena works perfectly if you enjoyed this tutorial make sure to like and subscribe for more tutorials and yeah I hope you enjoyed